Well, the prize is really going extremely well. I mean, I've just been involved for five years, but it, its international uh, standing is increasing all the time. I think more and more people know about it. Uh, we get a terrific input of applications, and we trustees have just had a wonderful day hearing from the three finalists that came from the 10 short lists that were extracted from the 400 projects. And, and the projects we've had, I mean, all three could easily win the prize. But people would be full of admiration for what people are proposing. Uh, but the projects overall cover a huge spectrum of things, They're all to do with looking after endangered animal species, to helping people in the third world, to preserving our carbon footprint, all things that are good for biodiversity, good for the environment. What's happening in the world is more and more people are interested, involved. Young people want to go to the third world to help. Most people now recognize there's a major environmental problem uh, in the world. So we're attracting higher and higher caliber people uh, to work on these things. And so the prize is just a symbol for them in many ways. I mean, there's quite a lot of money and that's important, particularly for early stage projects. But it, it's a symbol. If you, if you won the St. Andrews Prize for the environment, uh, you've got a real feather in your cap, which helps inspire other people.